Morning, I am in Manchester Airport and I was wondering, shall I fit a quick trip in before Christmas? One thing I've realised after being to the Arctic and America is how expensive travel is getting because it is getting more expensive. So I woke up this morning and I thought, why don't I do an experiment? I'll come to the airport, I'll book a flight at the airport, the cheapest one, so I don't know where I'm going yet, and then see how cheaply I can get food wherever I go and get a cheap hotel and just see how much a trip would actually cost me. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. So I'm literally walking through the car park to Terminal 1. We're going to try Terminal 1 first, go to the ticket office there and see what cheap flight they've got going out in the next few hours. There might not even be one for all, I know they might be fully booked but we're going to find out. How cheap do you reckon I can get a flight? This is going to be an interesting one. I just want to thank Revolut for supporting my travels and for sponsoring this video. If you sign up with my link in description you get £20 after you use your card and entered into the chance of winning £1,000. I'll tell you more about that later because I need to get this flight booked. Right, here we go, Manchester Terminal 1. Right, we're in arrivals at the minute, so we need to get to departures. Departures are upstairs, let's jump in this left. This airport is rammed today, I just need to find the ticket office. From memory, the ticket office is opposite the check-in desks. Right, here we go, ticket sales, Turkish Airlines. Well, I think if we get it through Turkish Airlines, we'll be going to Turkey. Egypt Air, eh? it's got to be just like a generic ticket, is it? Let's ask the Turkish Airlines dude. Hey, how are you mate, you good? Do you just deal with tickets for Turkish Airlines or everyone? Just Turkish Airlines. Just to, is, is there a ticket office here that deals with tickets for everyone? There is no airline office, mate. Literally, there's no. Where do you want to fly? I'm not too sure. I was just going to book a cheap flight going somewhere. Mate, in this season, I don't think you can get anything cheaper at this, this yeah. time of the year. Nothing at all. No worries, mate. Cheers, mate. Thanks very much. Appreciate it. Excuse me, mate. Is there a ticket office that sells generic tickets for flights around here? There's no generic one. You just have to go to an app. To the airline. Yeah. So there's not one that sort of does it for all of them. Who would you be willing to fly with? That's a very good... I haven't got a clue, to be honest, mate. I was just going to book a random flight going out. A cheap flight. To go where? I've not got a clue. Anywhere. Uh, anywhere. What's your best suggestion? And I'll go with that. Best suggestion? Easy jet at the end of the hall. Yeah. And how many countries do they fly to? Do they, they do a lot? They do a lot of countries. Are they, they probably the biggest, are they? Yeah, but then you've got the cheaper one could probably be Ryanair. Ah, okay. Which is T3. Okay, sweet. So, ah, that's Terminal 3, is yeah, it? Yeah, Terminal 3. And how far is that from here? <laughs> how are you, mate? You good? <laughs> terminal 3, at the end of the hall in the lift down to the ground floor. Turn okay. Like straight down, five and one. Okay, cool. So, I'll, I'll, I'll go to EasyJet then and I'll go to yeah. Terminal 3 if not. That's right. Nice one. Appreciate it's that, right. mate. Have a good one. Right, that was quite helpful, to be fair. I'm going to go to EasyJet first and see what we're looking at price wise for this. Um, Have you got a ticket office here at all? Yeah, no. I have a ticket desk. Can I'm you buy a ticket here at all? You have to buy it online. You have to buy it online. How are you? Are you good? Good, how are you? Yeah, nice to meet you. Me. I want to get the cheapest flight out of Manchester Airport in the next few hours. How do I find out which is the cheapest flight? Probably Ryanair. Really? Yeah. Ryanair will be cheaper? Yeah. Do they have a ticket office? I don't think They're so. Sure. Do they not? It's all online now, isn't it? Yeah. Times have so. changed. So uh, Manchester, what, are like everywhere? No? To wherever you want to go. I've not got a clue. Just wherever. <laughs> oh, well, right. I, I don't even know where I want to go. Why, why, why are you going? I don't know yet. I'm why? trying to book a cheap ticket and I can't to get where? one. I don't know. The garden. I've come to the garden <laughs> and we watch you all the time. I went, oh, no way, that's Simon Wilson over there. And he went, oh, it's not, no, it's a clever Yeah, of course, of course. Oh, I've got to ring uh, my son. My so son nice to meet you. Uh, so I really appreciate I don't even know. I'm trying to get the cheapest flight out of Manchester Airport and oh, there's no really ticket excited? offices. Well, have trying to get. Winnie? I have this time actually, so. He's born Liverpool as well, isn't he? Mate, there's only one club in this <laughs> world. There's only one club. <laughs> Someone with good tip. Up the villa, hey, you're smashing know, it at the minute. Really so nice to meet you anyway. Do you know what? I'm going to try Ryanair, and if that yeah. doesn't work, I'll come back. Nice to meet you anyway. You too. Nice to meet you. Thanks so much. See you later. Can I jump in there with you, mate? Cheers, pal. Do Ryanair have a ticket office here at all? You'd have to go and have a look on T3. I'm not sure. You know yeah. where it is on T3. I've not got a clue, to be honest. Is, is Terminal 3 far from here? No, no, no. So I was going lift, it's two minute walk. Two minute walk, perfect mate. Just walk into Terminal 3 now. This is quite hard, this. I suppose not many people come to the airport not knowing where they're going to go though. That's why everything's online these days. Manchester Terminal 3. Right, here we go. Where is the ticket? Terminal upstairs, I think. We're going to find out. Right, I'm just coming to the Ryanair desks now. Hello, anybody here? Excuse me, is anybody working on the... Um, I think someone's on the break. I'll just call him one moment. Ah, okay, sweet. Cheers, mate. Please let me buy a cheap ticket from here. Hey, how are you, mate? You good? 
I just want to buy a ticket if that's okay. okay. Yeah, Thanks yeah, so that's much. Okay. What is the cheapest ticket you've got leaving Manchester in the next sort of two to three hours? And where do you want to go? Um, not a clue anywhere. Where's the cheapest ticket you've got? Just download the Ryanair app. Okay. And uh, then look for any destination. Ah, you can do that on the app? We basically charge £50 on top of the actual price. Ah, so if I book it here, it's £50 extra on top of it? Book my flight. Book my flight? And any destination you want, I'll tell you which one. Uh, can you like click all or anywhere? I tell you what, can you see what is the cheapest flight on your system? Is that okay? Thanks so much for your help. Copenhagen. Copenhagen, okay, cool. So How Copenhagen is 151. Is 151, and what time does that go out? 1.30. Okay, Manchester, Copenhagen. I can book that on the app for £103. Exactly, with £50 I added up. Would you say this is the cheapest one going out? Yeah. Definitely. Yeah, it's Copenhagen, it's a nice destination. Ah, okay, and it's and it's the cheapest one. Yeah. Perfect. Okay, I'll get this booked on the app then. Yeah. Perfect. Try it. They might not let you. Oh, oh they might not let me on the app. If you try it, they might say go at the ticket desk. Please let me book it. Has that worked? Yeah, booking confirmed. It's gone through, mate. Thanks so much for that. Really appreciate it. Cheers. And we're going to Copenhagen. I'm buzzing. I have not been to Copenhagen for years. When was the last time? Probably before COVID. Right, so that flight with a booking fee has cost me 104.65 in total. With the Revolut, I can manage all my expenses in the app, so we'll see how much I spend in total at the end. 104.65 for that flight. It is a lot, but I suppose at the same time, it is on the same day, so it is always going to be a bit more. Either way, the cheapest airline to fly out of Manchester Airport is Ryanair, and that is the cheapest Ryanair flight. Light, so it is what it is. Right, let's get through security. Security done. From booking the flight to the flight taking off, I've got exactly two and a half hours, so plenty of time. Where am I going now? I don't even know what gate it is. Here we go, Copenhagen gate 48. If I remember rightly, I remember Copenhagen being super expensive the last time I went, so it'll be interesting to see how cheap I can get a hotel there. Cheers, buddy, thank you. Cheers, Have thanks very much, mate. Yeah. Thank you. Right, here we go. One hour, 50 minute flight to Copenhagen. <laughs> I just sat on the plane next to Kyle. Mate, are you a red or a blue? I'm a red. You're a red. Happy days. First time in Copenhagen, mate? Yeah. Is it? First yeah. time? I can't wait for it. Mate, I literally booked the flight when I got to the airport. You pay pennies for it? Mate, guess how much for a flight to Copenhagen and I booked it when I got to the airport. Once again, you are very welcome. 30 quid. Mate, 104 quid. That's dear, that, isn't it? Yeah. I suppose it is last minute though, isn't it? How much did you pay for this flight? I paid about 25. 25 quid? And how far along ago did you book it? A month ago. Ah, so it goes to show. If you book it before you get to the airport, it is cheaper. That's the problem with me though, I never book the flights long enough to get them cheap enough. Yeah, I'm not really much of a last minute person myself. Aren't you? Like, how long do you normally book the flights before you go? To be honest, this is as last minute as I go. I'm like a six month before. Ah, yeah, six month before. So this is the earliest you've booked the flight? Yeah. A month before. Mine are always like super last minute. Hence paying 104 <laughs> quid. Genuinely, I don't even know what I'm doing next week at this rate. Really? Mate, honestly. Next stop, Copenhagen, Denmark. Cheers, thanks very much, have a nice night. And we are in Copenhagen and I can tell you it is a lot more colder here than it is in Manchester. What do you reckon, Kyle, colder here than in Manchester, mate? Freezing, <laughs> we made it now. I can't believe it's pitch black here. It's only half four, 4.30 and it's pitch black. Nearly bedtime. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I need to find out where I'm sleeping tonight, mate. I feel for you, mate, but I've got a nice warm bed waiting for me, so. <laughs> Right, let's get through this airport. Hopefully it's not going to take too long. The cheapest way I think I'm going to be able to get into Copenhagen from here is going to be the train. Kyle's heading to the train station as well. We'll try and figure it out together, mate. Yeah. It's your first time here as well, isn't it? Indeed, mate. And I've never been to the train station, so we're going to adventure together, mate. Right, here we go, mate. Passport control. Just come through passport control, just looking for the train station. When's your train? 5.30, mate. Mate, you've literally got 40 minutes. I reckon we'll be all right, though. Just got to get out this airport first. Mate, if you miss your train, I'll be booking a twin room tonight. <laughs> <laughs> right, we're just exiting through the airport now. Here we go, mate. We've got the train or the metro. What do you reckon? You're after the train. Yeah. Do you reckon I'm train or metro? 
I imagine Metro for you, mate, unfortunately. Let's have a look. Ah, uh, yeah, tickets for train, metro, and bus. It's all in one. Is it the train or the metro I need to get to Copenhagen? Central station? Yeah, to the city centre, yeah. Then it will be train, in fact, number two. It'll be the train. Is that the cheapest option from the metro or the bus? Or? The ticket is identical. Identical, so okay. So it's the same ticket whether you choose bus, train, or metro. Ah, okay, and I can purchase the ticket here. You but push English, then city centre. Perfect, thank you. Right, I've selected English. Choose area, city centre. Copenhagen Central. One adult. Now, standard. Is that right? Continue. Insert card. Ticket printing, no receipt. Right, here we go. Right, I've got my tickets, ah. 30 kroners. You can see. Just over there. Am I over there? Am I? So where, I where are you? Yours. I'm at one. Looks like it's time to go our separate ways, mate. Kyle, it's been an absolute yeah. pleasure, mate. Lovely to meet Lovely. you. Have a good one with your missus, mate. Thank He's not you. seen his girlfriend for five months, first Thank time. You, Cheers, mate. <laughs> mate, so nice to meet you, mate. Nice Look after yourself. Up the reds. See you later. Kyle, what a guy. Right, I need to go to platform two now, which I believe is down here. So this train has just cost me 30 Danish kroners, which is £3.47, so that's pretty cheap. Is this the one I need to get on? Um, I'm sure this might be it. Excuse me, does this go to Copenhagen Central? It does, perfect. Thank you. This has to be the busiest, the quietest train I have ever been on. We're moving, I'm just looking at the board and it says we're getting to Central Station at 5.15, so it's only 15 minutes direct into the centre. Fair play, that's pretty cheap and quick. Right, here we go, we're coming into Central Station. And I've arrived in Copenhagen Central. It's quite dull, cold, and people aren't that friendly, if I'm honest. I don't think I've seen one person smile since I've come out the airport yet. We're in the main train station now. Look at that massive Christmas tree. Fair play, they've made an effort. I'll tell you what, though, for a train station, this is pretty posh. Look at it, how cool is that? All the Denmark flags along. It's like a medieval train station. Coming out the train station into the cold, and we are in Copenhagen. <laughs> Not a clue where we go from here though. Where's the centre? From looking at the map on my phone, we're obviously in the centre, that's why it's called Central Station, but look at it in the back. The train station looks like a castle. It's definitely starting to liven up now though. I think I'm well and truly in the centre. Live music, restaurants, you name it. It is actually rammed in the centre. After having a quick little walk around the centre, this place is lovely. So many people cycle in this city. But the buildings, everything just looks so nice. Right, the plan now, I need to eat. So far I have spent £108.12. So we're going to try and get a cheap meal. Ideally something decent that's local. Apparently Copenhagen is not cheap at all. It's super expensive. So we'll see how much we can get some food for. Before I do that though, let me tell you about the giveaway. Thanks to Revolut for supporting my travels and for sponsoring this video. Revolut is a global financial app that's used by 35 million people worldwide, including me. It only takes a few minutes to sign up and is free to download. Revolut are giving away £1,000 to one of my subscribers who signs up using the link in description before the 31st of January. If you win, the £1,000 will be automatically deposited direct into your Revolut account. That'd be nice. One person watching this video has got to win it so make sure you click the link below in description to be in with a chance good luck here we go it looks like I'm entering the Christmas markets here this looks pretty nice what's that in the back oh you've got all sorts here pizza over there oh yeah you've got a burger van over there I think we might be able to do better than that yeah what's this here Swiss raclette what on earth is Swiss raclette how nice is this? With being an American, being the artist, this is the first Christmas market I've done this year. Oh, look at these hot dogs. How good do they look? Right, I've just walked through the start of the Christmas market, so there's some huts here, but look at this across the road. That looks ridiculous, and there's even fire on the top of it. Here we go, I think we're gonna get into the thick of it now. How amazing is this? This is like the main entrance. Oh, this is the exit, how'd you get in? Oh, don't tell me you need a ticket. Excuse me, Yes. do you have to buy a ticket for this? Um, to get into Tivoli? Yeah. 
Um, then this yes. clue is uh, if you have a car. Uh, the, and this, this line is, I think, if you already have one. If like, you already car. have one. Okay, I cool. Believe. Thank you so much. Wow. Right, let's try the other line, but there is no way I am not making it into there tonight. I'm just in the queue to buy a ticket now. This is going to be eating into the budget. Right, here we go. Adult, 155 krona. Hi, how are you? Can I have one ticket? Yes, of course, 155. Thank you so much. Okay, you can tap on the left side. Ah, tap on the left. That's great. Thank you so much. Thank you. So one ticket has worked out to £17.92. Could have done without it, but it's not the end of the world because this place looks really cool. This is like Santa's village. Look at it. Oh, this is the real deal this is and this is where the proper food is. What are you making here, mate? Almonds with sugar and cinnamon. Almonds with sugar and yeah. cinnamon. Sounds good. Thank you, mate. I think I'll keep the nuts for later because I want to get some proper food. This is so nice. Little pretzels here. I've been to a fair few Christmas markets over the years and I would say on first sight this is up there. Look at this. You've got a full light show on the building at the back, Christmas tree, windmills over here, and then you've got that main walk which I just come down. Look at this. This is impressive. I've never seen so many Christmas trees in my life. So you've got a fair ride there. Santa's Grotto in the back. I could really do with some food here though. This place is so cool and there is so many places to visit here. You've got beer on tap over here. Where can I eat? Right, this has got a big queue. That's always a good sign. But is that a beer? Yeah, that's for beer. You've got like bars and restaurants all along there. I'm not really looking for a restaurant meal though. Just want to get something from one of these huts. Right, I think we've hit the jackpot. Hot dog stand. Here we go. We've got the hot dog. Titan, I think that's how you say it. Right, what have we got here? Classic hot dog, Christmas hot dog, French hot dog, or sausage and bread. I can't say I've ever had a Christmas hot dog before, and I think it would be really rude not to have the Christmas hot dog. Hi, how are you? Can I get one Christmas hot dog, please? Yes. Thank you. Anything else? Uh, no, nope, that's everything. Thank you. 55. 55 krona. Should I? All good? Yes. Thank you. Like you. The receipt? Um, no, it's fine. It just comes out the other side, does it? Yes. Perfect, thank you. You want a hot dog? Uh, yeah, Christmas hot dog, yeah. Yes, thank you. Good. How many hot dogs have you sold today? <laughs> too many. <laughs> Uh, everything on it, yeah, thank you. Thank you so much, that looks amazing. Thank you, you too, have a good one. Here we go, verdict on the Christmas hot dog. That's really good. The Christmas hot dog gets a solid nine and a half out of ten. The only way it could be a ten is if it had ketchup on it. Look at this place, how nice is this place? It doesn't even look like a Christmas market, it looks like a little village. So that Christmas hot dog just cost me 55 Danish kroners, which is £6.36 in sterling, and it was worth every penny. With Revolut, you can get a great exchange rate, as I've proven in multiple videos in multiple countries. So at least I've got the peace of mind knowing I am not being screwed and I'm saving money. The current spend for this trip so far is £132.40. It's a bit more than I thought at this point, if I'm completely honest, but the flight is what set us back. I tell you what though, this place is not a Christmas market. This is like a theme park, this. It's massive. What Christmas market has one ride after another ride after another ride? There is no way this is a Christmas market. There's a roller coaster here. I think it would be a pretty poor show for me if I come all this way and not go on a ride. I don't know how I'm going to film it, but we'll work that bit out in a minute. Right, here we go. I think this is the entrance for it. I've not even booked a hotel yet. My priorities are all wrong. Right, which way are we going? I haven't even got a ticket. Can you buy like a single ticket to go on one ride from here? Yeah, I can buy it here. I can buy it here, yeah? Perfect, thank you. How much is it for one ticket? Uh, 90. 90 krona. Perfect, thank you. Here we go, my first roller coaster in Denmark. I don't know if you can call it a roller coaster, but let's see how this goes. It's a bit concerning that everybody else riding this ride is about 10 years old. Can I buy one? Yeah, you can buy one. Perfect, thank you. Is that all good? Thank you. My bag? Where does this go? Just put it opposite side. Right, wish me luck. Oh my god, there we go. Oh my god. It is freezing. Oh my god, it's actually pretty high. When I got to Manchester Airport this morning, I did not think I would be on a roller coaster in Denmark. That was not the best ideas after that hot dog. 
that set me back 90 kroner which is £10.40 so in total now we've spent £142.80 could have probably done without the roller coaster time's getting on now and I really need to book a hotel so I'm going to leave this Christmas market slash theme park and then we'll go from there I tell you what I have thoroughly enjoyed my time in here I've only just realised the place is called the Tivoli and I highly recommend it if anybody's here before Christmas because you could literally spend all day in there thank you so much thank you and there we have it the Tivoli I'm gonna miss that it's getting later and it's getting colder so I need to look for a hotel where would I find the cheapest hotel I'm gonna check booking.com I'm gonna put in Copenhagen Center in and then I'm gonna sort it out from the cheapest to the most expensive. Right, the cheapest one is this one. It's called Dan Hostel Copenhagen City and Apartments. And as you can see there, for one night, it's 20 pound. 20 pound for a night in a very expensive city is not bad at all. But obviously it depends on how many people are in a room because it is a hostel. Looking at the map, it is saying it is a 14 minute walk from where I am now. So say booking it online, I'm just gonna go straight there and book it there. Oh, it's cold flesh. Epinec. I tell you what, from walking around this city since I've got here, I have not spotted one bit of rubbish on the floor. Not one, and I still haven't. Copenhagen is a class place, to be fair. Right, I'm just coming to it now. This is it. It says Dan Hostel on the building, and this is the building here. It's a big hostel, that. It's the biggest hostel I've ever seen. Right, let's see what the situation is. This is it here. It's massive. Hi, how are you? I have no booking, but just looking for a, whatever option you've got. Thank you. There's an option on booking.com that says £20. I don't know if that's in a dorm or... It's probably in a dorm. Okay, cool. So for one night or... Just for one night, yeah, thank you. What is the cheapest option you have? That would be a dormitory bed. A dormitory bed would be the cheapest option? Yeah. Okay, cool. It would be 167 Danish crowns for tonight. It would be around, yeah, 19, 20 pounds. Okay, perfect. I'll take that if that's okay. How many beds are in the dorm? Probably going to be eight beds. Yeah. Eight beds in the dorm. Is it busy tonight or? So right now there are four people in the dorm. Four people in there and yeah, four empty spaces. Perfect. This is like the biggest hostel I've seen. Yeah. It's massive. How many like beds do you have in the whole? Yeah, I'm totally have 1,020 beds. 1,020 beds in yeah. the whole building. Wow. It's one of the biggest city hostels in uh, Europe. Really? Yeah. Biggest city hostel in Europe. Wow. Yeah. Now I need some information here. I no problem. To... Where are you from? Are you from Denmark or? I grew up in Germany. Ah, okay, um, nice. Yeah, so I'm actually from Germany, but my parents are Danish. What do you prefer, Germany or Denmark? To live, I would say Denmark. Really? Yeah. Why is it better here yeah, than Germany I like or? The people more here. Really? Than Which part of Germany were you? Cologne. Cologne. Ah, yeah. okay, nice. So it would be 167. Then okay, for the perfect. Night. Thank you. 313 is gonna be your room number. It's on the third floor. Bed sheets and towels you need to grab over there from the uh, trolley. Take okay. one package out to your room, make your bed, and then when you check out, please return it here again. Okay, perfect. Yeah. Thanks so much, Fiona. Just really appreciate your help. Thank you. Right, let me get the bed sheet and towel. Elevator A. Here we go. Right, here we go. Floor three. I haven't stayed in a hostel for ages. What number did she say? Room 1313, so it's down here. So there are four other people in my room. I have no clue whether they're in the room now or whether they're out partying, but we're gonna find out. Who are we gonna be greeted with? Oh, there we go. sleeping in there so I need to be quiet but this is the bathroom we've got a shower there we've got a toilet and we've got a sink I tell you what let me go outside so I don't wake anybody up I thought I'd come out because there's two of the four people that are in my room sleeping and I definitely don't fancy waking them up so the hostel ended up being £19.87, which brings the grand total of the trip to £162.67. I don't think that's too bad, considering the flight was £104 of that. Can you imagine if I had a booked earlier, it would have obviously been a lot cheaper and the whole trip would have been under £100. So I don't think that's bad. I'm going to go and grab a shower now and hit the deck. If you want to see me do a new location from Denmark, go to the airport and see where I go next. Let me know in the comments. 
Don't forget to download Revolut now with my link in description below to get £20 when you use your card and the chance to win £1,000. One person watching this video has to win it, so make sure you click the link to be in with a chance. Massive good luck with that, because I'm going to head in for a shower now and to snow my head off all night and annoy everybody in the room. If I don't see you before Christmas, have an amazing Christmas and New Year with a family, wishing everybody well. Again, really appreciate the support this year. It means so, so much. Thank you. Um, Wish me luck going back in here. Have a good one, and I'll see you soon.